Piccolo, Ward Cameron here from Explore Podcasting, the podcast designed to teach you how to get your first podcast online. Here you can see our blog post, and today what we're going to do is set up our feed burner feed. So if we go to the homepage of Explore Podcasting Podcast, you can see we have episode number one, Explore Podcasting, and introduction is online. If you click on the play button, Explore Podcasting, episode 001 podcast will begin to play. But one thing you will also notice is that this main blog page includes more than just audio files. It also includes blog posts about other uh, podcasting related subjects. And for the feed that we're creating, which is the feed that will be uh, picked up by iTunes, we want to select only the audio files, only the actual podcast episodes. So what I've done is created a category called podcast episodes. And if we click over to the right under categories, we can open the page that lists only actual audio broadcasts or audio podcasts. And at the top of the screen is the actual address for that. And we're going to copy that address. That will be the address for the feed for this program. And now to create the feed using FeedBurner, Click over and open FeedBurner.com, log in, and once you're logged in, all you need to do is paste the address of the feed that you want to utilize. Click I am a podcaster, next, and it has found more than one feed. It's found the main feed for the whole site, it's found a feed for the comments, and this third one is the podcast episode feed. So that's the one we're going to select. We'll click Next. And they're going to ask to burn a feed, adjust the feed title, and click Next. And your feed burner feed is now live. Want to dress it up a bit? And I don't know exactly what that is, but here you can see it's applied a number of services to it. Uh, FeedBurner stats, although we'll use Libsyn for most of our stats. Our actual media files are served on off of Libsyn.com. Um, basically, we're all ready to get going. Now there's step one of three. Configure your podcast to tell iTunes how to list it. And I'm going to do it from audio files only because those are the only files that I want to go to iTunes, categories, technology, subcategories, podcasting. At this point, I don't have a podcast. So Let's see what that shows up. That doesn't show up anything. So I don't have an image right now. I will add some cover art later. Podcast subtitle. Is learn how to create and publish your first podcast. And a quick summary. And put in some keywords. Uh, 
contains explicit content, no copyright. And the author. FeedBurner Stats automatically measures the general traffic level for your feed. You may also consider additional options that can give you insight into how engaged your audience is with your content. So what you can do is select click-throughs. And I'm not going to select that right now. And right now, I'm going to leave this at its default. As I say, I'm going to use Libsyn for my stats rather than uh, using FeedBurner. And the feed is now ready for the world. Now what? Integrate. FeedBurner integration varies depending on which platform you use to publish your blog. Some of the most popular platforms are listed below. I'm using a self-hosted WordPress. And it says, for the best results using FeedBurner with your self-hosted WordPress site, we recommend the FeedBurner FeedSmith plugin, originally authored by Steve Smith. And what I will do is download that plugin. And I'll just save that to my desktop. And I'll install that later. Other than that, our feed burner feed is all set. And uh, we should be able to pull up our feeds here. Feed burner. And there's our first feed Explore Podcasting Podcast. So here we go. That is going to show us we have now burned our first feed. Um, that will eventually go into iTunes, and people will be able to subscribe to the Explorer Podcasting podcast directly from iTunes with uh, the feed coming from WordPress and the files being hosted on Libsyn. I hope you found that helpful. Check us out at explorepodcasting.com. I'm Ward Cameron, and we'll talk to you soon.